Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel or welcome in if you're new. My name is Nati and I know it has been a long time since I played in the not so berry household. I do miss them dearly. Um, however, I did record prior to this and that recording kind of got corrupted. So, but the good thing is not a lot happened. It was, I was playing through the weekend and uh, the only thing that happened was our dear Haka here aged up. She is now a full adult. Also, another crazy thing that happened was Daryl died in his sleep, I guess you can say, but it didn't have give me no warning or anything. He just disappeared and she became a widow. And I was like, oh no, 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 I'm not having that. <laughs> So I kind of redid everything and I think that's what messed up my game or my file, but we are back and we're going to try this all again. I did do little makeovers on them because it's been so long since I played The Sims, a lot of my CC kind of got broken. So I had to redo everything, which was a good thing. You know, I wanted to change up her appearance and whatnot. So maybe some of my sims are not gonna look the same but i did my best <laughs> so this right here is haka i cut her hair gave her some bangs gave her some wrinklies around the mouth and i believe i changed some of her outfits as well i changed this one she didn't have this one and she has this one she looks a little professional a little grown-up-ish <laughs> and i gave her a new party wear hot weather wear as well I made her a little bit more comfortable and kept that one and then I gave her a more adult uh, cold weather and kept her with this one I did a little bit of tweaking to Daryl I gave him some wrinklies around the mouth and I changed just this outfit because I believe the rest of his outfits are the same Oh no, wait, sorry, there's his uh, athletic wear. And then I did some changes to Ariel as well. I gave her a little bit longer hair, took out the green in her hair. That's all I really did. Everything else is the same. She's got big ol' eyes. I'm going to leave our uh, Nova to the end because I'm so excited with this new uh, pack. Well, with this new update, because I didn't buy the pack yet. But with this new update with the infants, I love that I can customize them now. Okay, so here's Scarlet, the twin. She looks a bit different as well. I changed her hair. Gave her a different outfit. And she's no longer... She's not the heir, so she doesn't have to wear red all the time. So I gave her this little comfy little ensemble for sleep. Kept that for her party wear because she just looks like a little sweet, innocent girl. I love it. <laughs> all right. And then we have Ruby. She looks a bit different. She doesn't have her braids anymore. But I did let her hair down and I gave her a bit more teenage clothing because <laughs> yeah I'm looking back at it she did look a little too adult <laughs> and here's a little punkish outfit but I love it this piece is my valentine she is so very pretty I love it <laughs> her gym wear her athletic wear is still the same I just put her hair up sleepwear is the same and I gave her this little outfit right here it looks a little comfy and then i gave her a new cold weather outfit as well and now for nova oh baby nova is so pretty so nova is going to be the yellow gen we gave her the yellow eyes and hair and found some yellow clothing as well so here's her every day here is her formal her sleepwear <laughs> she's so cute her party wear, hot weather wear, and her cold weather wear. Oh, she is absolutely adorable. I love her to pieces. And let's go ahead and get into it. Hopefully it'll be more exciting and my game doesn't corrupt. 
All right, and we are back in game. We have little Nova over here. Oh, she is so cute. Oh, she's seeping. Look at you, Nova Bear. It's a little Nova Bear. <laughs> I love it. All right, so Daryl, how are you doing? I We don't need Daryl dying again. I don't know what, what went wrong on the last time I played. It was insane. I put them, they were all sleeping, and then, yeah, he died. The Grim Reaper didn't show up, nothing. <laughs> it was so crazy. All right, Haka is a bit sleepy. Let's take a thoughtful shower, and then she can go night-nights. Scarlet, how are you doing, baby girl? You are sleepy as well. Let's get you to bed. Ruby, Ruby, honey, um... Let's get you to use the bathroom, and then let's have you have a quick meal. Get a ham cheese sandwich, and then when she's done, she's gonna go upstairs and go to sleep. All right. So Ruby's skills so far, um, I do want to bring up her logic a bit more. Her charisma's at a five. We have to max out the charisma. Uh, Ariel, how are you feeling, my love? Ariel is sleeping. Is she doing her homework? She is. Oh, you're such a good bean. Oh, 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 wait, 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 wait. Daryl, your sister's here. Let's give her residence keys and let's go ahead and invite her in. Daryl, can you get up for a second? Your sister's home. Not Gemma coming in here and making us dinner. Okay, she doesn't know how to cook. How is Nova feeling? Nova is hungry. Haka... You're fine. Let's go feed the baby. Oh. We got a sentiment. Haka, why don't you be jealous? Why are you being jealous? It's his sister. Right, right now he's talking to the baby. Oh, you. Haka, you are a mess. All right, Daryl. Daryl, why don't you go downstairs and make. She, she baked a whole cake. Okay. I mean. Are you trying to tell us something, Gemma? Are you, is it your birthday? All right. So the twins have 13 more days till they age up to young adults. Daryl has 31 days. Haka has 39 days. How about you, sweet pea? You have eight more days till you age up into a teen. Oh, look at the brother and sister talking. I love it. Daryl loves his sister. He talks to her every morning. All right, how about you go take a shower real quick, Daryl? I'm sorry. Sweetie, do not go to sleep right there. You have a bed. Go to sleep on your room. Glad she's feeling focused, looking like a zombie. I love it. All right, Haka. You never fed the baby, Haka. Bottle feed the baby. And then go get you something to eat. Oh my god, I hate when people come over and go straight to the computers. It's so rude. I would be so mad somebody comes to my house and the first thing they want to do is get on my computer. <laughs> Not happening. Haka is feeding the baby finally. And then we probably have Daryl give the baby a quick bath and set her down to sleep. I know, Cleo, you want you want to you want to walk. I understand. Okay, fine. Why don't you take pup pup for a short walk? Go. We're going, Cleo. This little bitch is in my back. Okay, Daryl, talk to your sister. Haka, where are you taking the baby? Scarlet is going through a phase. She's having a bit of a mean streak and feels like being more nasty with other sims. Scarlet, that's not like you. Why don't you go use the bathroom? Who is in the bathtub? Is she back in my bathtub? Are you kidding me? Does she not have a house? It's 12 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> yeah, our schedule is all out of, all out of whack. All right. Wake up, Nova. And then I'm going to need you to give her a bath. She's lovelorn. You got to meet people first. You see that? She loves walking the dog. Her fun goes up so fast. Haka, are you going to wake up the baby? Oh, my God. Haka, no. Wake. Wake up, Nova. Oh, my God, Haka. You are irking my nerves right now. Give her a bath. Right this second. Don't you just love it when nothing goes as planned? <laughs> and <laughs> Ruby is loving life right now. Uh, Cleo? 
Where's Cleo? How? I am so confused. Okay, that is the longest leash I've ever seen. Cleo is right here. Yep, right there. <laughs> Ruby is way over here. I've never seen a leash that long in my life. <laughs> Call her over. Oh, there she is. Wait, is she in the water? Oh my god, I'm so... How? H how? How is this a thing? What the heck? Cleo? Cleo? Wait, what? <laughs> Cleo, I don't understand. Okay, you know what? You know what? How about you? How, how about you? you just, just, just go home and we'll call. Why are you dazed? Ruby can't tell if it's her or the rest of the world that's spinning. Uh oh. Ruby's sick. Okay, Ruby, come home and see if you can sleep it off. Heck, I, I pray to God you took this baby a bath. Thank you. Now, why don't you... She's feeling flirty now. How about you put the baby to sleep? I know she gets really frustrated every time she even picks up Nova. But Nova needs to go to bed. Alright, Scarlet. How did you do? Oh, it's normal. You go, girl. Daryl, can you put the cake that your sister made away? And then I need you to clean with vigor. Oh my god, she's bugged. Uh, reset. Thank you. Thank you for that tea pose. Now let's go ahead and put Nova to bed. And then you can go to bed. Whoa. Nice teleporting. I understand. Yo, now you're dizzy. Difficult feelings. Why? Why are you sad? How hurtful. Oh my god, Daryl, you mean the, you are so mean. She was only she was talking to Daryl downstairs and apparently he gave her horrible feedback <laughs> on how her food tasted. It took time. I took time out of my day to prepare a meal just to get insulted, right? Fear of being judged all. Oh, I'm sorry that your dad did that to you. He's freaking mean. Alright, you put her to sleep. And then you could get some sleep. You see, every time she has any... <laughs> every time she has to do anything with Nova, she just starts cussing. She's so mad. <sighs> Go to bed. Oh my god. You're gonna chat with your sister. <laughs> Scarlet's gonna come upstairs and be like, Oh my god, you, can you would not believe what dad did. I cooked for the family, and he insulted my food. Like, if he didn't like it, he should have cooked. Why'd you pick her up? What are you doing? Oh my god, she is sleepy. Ruby! Oh, I can so tell you do not know what you're doing. Ruby, put her back. Ruby, you do know you have school soon. Just, just go to bed. Okay, the baby's sleeping. Go. She will go to sleep eventually. Can you? Jesus. Oh, my Jesus. No! Oh, my God. <laughs> Ruby, put the baby down. Not on the floor. Not. Put Nova to bed. Oh, my God. You are so buggy. All right, and then I'm just gonna debug you. Now go to sleep. Go to sleep. No! Oh my god. Oh my god. You know what? You f 
you know what? Fine, 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 fine. Just, just go to bed. You legit have a half hour to sleep and then you have to get up and go to school. I guess Nova just likes sleeping on the floor. All right, now you gotta wake up. Then you gotta go to school. Go to school. Love you guys, have a great day. That guy has work in uh, two hours. I'm so happy they're still in love. Oh my god, is Hakka taller than Daryl? <laughs> That's funny. What are you doing? Scarlet, take your butt to school right now. Can you please make... I want you to flirt with classmates. You, take your butt to school. It's fine. We just need to see if Ruby makes friends. Or at least flirts with somebody. I just want to see what her preference is. That guy's in here feeding the babies before she has to go to work. We're going to send her alone. She's going to feed the baby and then she go to work. Oh, Nova became good friends with uh, with Haka. Yay! Counter bullying. Now that Scarlet gets pretty good grades, some bullies have been picking on her lately. Should she confront them with a witty comeback or ignore them and hope they'll pick on different target? So this is Scarlet, and Scarlet's that very shy, introverted person who doesn't like to, you know, start stuff and whatever. So I'm just going to have her ignore them. She's the little geeky one that sits in a corner. No, Haka is on her way to work now. Haka, go to work. Oh my god. Okay, it takes a fair amount of self-control, but ignoring the bullies works. Eventually, they get bored and moved on to a different target. Scarlet feels a little bad for the other kid, but hey, should it? School is a jungle sometimes. I, yeah. Oh crap, we gotta pay bills. All right, when we get home, we'll pay the bills. What is she doing? Go to work. I'm so confused as to what is going on. Go to work. Go to work. Not Malcolm calling Scarlet. Have you been learning anything new lately? Bro, don't call. Didn't I say don't call my family? How come? She did not flirt with anybody in school today. Uh, she's not. She's not. Uh. A whole day of telling her to flirt with classmates and she didn't flirt with anybody. Should Ruby invite over classmate Glenn? Sure. Where's Glenn? Isn't Glenn already a friend? Braham. I'm sorry. Glenn, you're... I'm so sorry. She perceives him as unattractive, which is fine. But he has a major bald spot for a teenager. Jesus, bro. Let's give him <laughs> relationship advice. It just sucks because I don't think Scarlet finds anybody attractive. I think Orange is her bestest friend. Basic looking. Leo. He's a young adult, though. So acquaintance is he an adult married adult Billy very unattractive Clinton unattractive okay so she finds uh, Nomi attractive here's a first okay how about Cassandra she perceives Cassandra as attractive. She perceives Devin as unattractive. Basic looking for Dominic. That's her mama. Oh no, that's her twin. Oh my god, we have got to change her. These are enemies, basic looking. Of course, Malcolm is the father. She perceives him as attractive. I don't know. <laughs> okay, so let's invite over Nomi, maybe? We're gonna invite Nomi over. Let's send her a flirty text, see how that goes. Baby has to use the pampy. 
Hey, hey, champ. So get this. I have a cool business idea. This is going to be a big one, but uh, I just need a few more simoleons to get it off the ground. Like a thousand simoleons? Do you think you could help a buddy out? You'll get it all back and then some, I swear. You are asking a child for a thousand simoleons? No, sorry. Oh, uh, but how else are my dreams supposed to come, tr come true? Thanks anyways, I guess. Girl, <laughs> ask an adult, maybe? Yes, put her down and pay the bills. Why don't we invite over Nomi? Daryl, can you please do me a favor and polish that to perfection? And then you can go to sleep. So Daryl's feeling like he's not having enough exercise, promotion anxiety, and stress from work because he hasn't had a promotion. <laughs> Uh, you'll be okay, Daryl. Scarlet. Scarlet is just feeling all types of flirty. How peaceful and relaxing. Blushing. Hold up. Scarlet, do you like Mr. Baldy up there? She perceives him as unattractive. Okay. And Naomi says she'll be right over. She's at the door. Ruby, why don't you come down? Ruby, why don't you come down and talk to her? And then you can do your homework with her. Oh, she wants to flirt with her. We're pinning that. Everybody just keeps gathering in her room. The baby. Okay, pause real quick. Daryl, why don't you give the baby a bath? Why don't you come over here and flirt like you said you wanted to do? Oh, my Lord Jesus. Put some clothes on. Why don't you go flirt? Why'd you get naked? I. <laughs> oh, my God, Malcolm. If you do not... Bro... Not Malcolm texting my twin sister. <laughs> oh my god. I'm curious. Does she find Malcolm attractive? Basic looking. Okay. She wants to eat food. Call someone on the phone. Cassandra. No, I didn't. You want to tell me about it? Let's give Cassandra a call and ask about that little meme. Okay, so for her serial romantic, she has to have three first kisses. She's already had one with Malcolm. And I'm thinking Naomi is going to be our number two. So let's chat her up a little bit. Let's not hook up with her. Daryl, Daryl, I told you to come give this baby a bath. Are you kidding me right now? Okay, they finally gave us some privacy. Oh my God, Haka, Haka, give your daughter some privacy, please. Why, why don't you go get something to eat? Just, just leave. Ruby has learned ro Naomi's romantic orientation, which is? I'm still exploring trying to figure out stuff out right now. Ah. So she's curious. Not too sure. So they really are good friends. We just want to bring up some more romance. Awkward. What happened? Why is there no romance going? There we go. Oh my god, little one, get the hell out of here. No. No. Oh my jeez. She's an awkward flirter. I love it. Oh my god, you are not supposed to care this much about the baby. Where'd you go? Oh my god, you are not doing this in your mom's bed. Okay. It's almost Nova's birthday. No, 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 no. Why? Uh, never mind. Nomi finds her unattractive, so this is not gonna work. Okay, so you could go home. <laughs> uh, we just freaking spent the whole day flirting with somebody who didn't like us. Okay, um, Ruby, why don't you come down, get some leftovers. Give yourself a little bath time. And then you can go to sleep. Daryl, can you please come and polish that up? Get you something to eat. And you can go to bed. Haka, you're doing okay. How's the baby? Baby is hungry, so... Ruby is having herself a... An, an, yeah, Ruby. <laughs> Ruby's going through it right now. Let's go ahead and make sure... She comes downstairs, uses the bathroom, 
get some leftovers, and then she can go upstairs and go to sleep. She she had a long day. <laughs> why why does she do this? Ariel, you have a bed. Go to sleep in it. Scarlet is off to sleep. Ruby, I mean, sorry, Haka, when you're done, I need you to go to sleep. Daryl is going to go to sleep. Ruby, you are so exhausted. And I'll see you guys whenever they all wake up. All right, the first one out of bed is Ariel. She has to use the bathroom. Go ahead and use the toilet. Before school, why don't you come over here and eat you some cereal? Oh my God. She called Malcolm. Y'all guys, can you just forget about Malcolm? He was a jerk. Come on, Rube. Stop trying to talk to people and finish her homework. It is hell getting her to do her homework. Daryl, why don't you make breakfast for everybody? And you know what? Grilled cheese for everybody. Please don't burn down the house. Why aren't y'all going to school? Go to school. Go to school. And take all y'all butts to school now. Oh my god, Cleo's running away. Why, Cleo? Not enough drama? See you later, Cleo. Alright, Daryl. Since the grand post. Oh wait, you're on your way to work. Okay, Hekka. Uh, Daryl, go to work. Why are y'all doing this? Go to work. During free time, Ariel drew an inappropriate piece of artwork and showed it to classmates. It caused lots of giggles and disrupted the rest of the school day. We encourage creativity. Take a drawing and punish her. We encourage creativity. And I'll see you guys whenever they're back from school and work. The teacher announced some outdoor study time to get the kids out of the classroom for a while. Should Scarlett take her studying outside or just go hang out outside with her friends until the time is to go back in? She's going to study. It's Scarlett. <laughs> All during school, <laughs> Orange text Ruby and said, you're pretty cool, Ruby. Oh, it's so sweet. All right. The girls are home from school. Everybody is super sad. Yay, Ruby is an A student. Get it, baby girl. That's all I wanted. So is Scarlett. <laughs> Look at that. And so is Ariel. Good girls. Oh, Ruby's in the toilet crying because the pup pup ran away. It's fine. She'll be back. Hey, Ruby, it's me, Nomi. Do you think we should go out on a date? Girl. <laughs> no, no, no. We spent way too much time yesterday. No, <laughs> I don't think so. But we're going to send a sad text to Cassandra and then we're going to invite her over. Hey, Ruby, you should really, you sound really down. Come over and I'll cheer you up. Okay. <laughs> we're just going to talk to Cassandra a little bit. We're, we're already really good friends, but we really just need to get out of our funky mood. Well, we got out of our funky mood and we're flirtatious now. Ooh. What's going on? Mess around? Oh god, please, please, please use protection. Where are you guys gonna go? Please say Cassandra's. Yes, yeah, Cassandra's bed. Okay. At least it's that. <laughs> Can y'all feed y'all kid? No, not my problem. No, it's my problem. I barely take care of my own daughter. <laughs> no, we're gonna wake up Cassandra. Because we are going... <laughs> we are going to get this kiss. We're going to flirt. We're going to do all the things. Wow, Cassandra's mom is just there. <laughs> oh, they're exchanging numbers. I'm like, what the heck is she doing? Oh, 
I think Cassandra likes us. Come on, it should not be this hard. Uh. All right, we're gonna go home because we're hungry and yeah, her and Cassandra already has some love interests. She's gonna go ahead and get some leftovers. Scarlet is holding the baby. The baby is hungry as hell, okay. Scarlet, because you are already holding her, how about you feed her as well? I love that they can sit down with the baby now. Oh, I cannot believe it. I'm sorry. I get so excited for the smallest things, but this is awesome. Oh my God, they can sit down and feed the baby too while doing other things. Oh my God. <laughs> this is amazing. Oh, she's so pretty. Look at how pretty she is. Uh, no, Ruby, clean that up. And you can go upstairs and you can go to bed. Eka, how are you feeling? You are fine. Let's get you to sleep. And as everybody is sleeping, Cleo decides she wants to come back home. Good for you, Cleo. Good for you. you don't give me no gifts, nothing. Just... All right, you guys, I think this is where I'm gonna leave it off for today. Not a lot happened, but we're back in the game. Super excited for this. Uh, the next time we're going to see about getting our beautiful little Ruby here, her second kiss, her second first kiss. Um, and on the next episode, baby Nova should be aging up into a toddler. So an Ariel will be a preteen. The girls still have a few more days for them to age up into young adults. But like I said, I'm super excited that I am back. Please do not forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And um, yeah, in the comments below, say hello. I miss you guys so very much and I cannot wait to continue on with this not so berry journey. Mwah, see you guys later.